from Montauk. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are officially beginning the Hamptons content. We are back at the same house we stayed at last year. I'm here with Brooke and Katie, two of my very best friends. And I can't believe it's been a year already. We're back in this house. This house is so special to us. We came here last year for two weeks. We're here for another two weeks. We got in yesterday, so we kind of just like unpacked, got our life together. We, we went to Soul Cycle this morning, grocery shop, just kind of everything. Now I'm like, okay, I can start my vlog. Um, so this is my room. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm so excited to be here because I have my own little desk and this mirror. We know I love an outfit of the day. I have this beautiful big bed. I'm very, very excited. I literally unpacked everything. I'm just, we ordered more hangers to hang more clothes up, but I did what I could. Like I literally have like all my bathing suits in here, cover-ups, like chill clothes, all that. I made that like my little hamper. Here's my closet. I, I, it's so fun when you're somewhere at a long period of time because you can really like take everything out of your suitcase. So I got my shoes. I hung up some stuff. I got this from Amazon. It's on my Amazon shop. Literally obsessed. I could see off my jewelry. I even went hard. I put all my hats out, all my sunglasses out for display, and my bags, and got clothes in here. I'm, I'm fully moved in. This is my room. <laughs> this was my room last year. Katie's in it now. Um, they actually redid it a little bit since last year. It's even like. I like it even better in here now. They added this mirror. There's like a full house tour in my last year's Montauk vlog, but I'm just showing like new additions. And then Brooks back here, the nursery. <laughs> they had a desk there last year. Now there's a crib. And this is like the little kids room, I guess. But there used to be a bed in here last year, but a lot of you guys noticed this in my vlog. So this is the living room. It's unreal. Like I think all of us are vlogging right now. This is the dining room. I mean, we never have eaten here, literally ever. The restoration hardware cloud couch is absolutely wonderful. This is probably where Brooke and I will record the podcast. There's Katie over there, but the new addition, you guys. They added a second floor. Everyone was like, wait, I don't remember there being a second floor. You are correct. So up here is perfect for when we have our guests come on the weekends. This is like epic, guys. This did not exist. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my god, you look so cute. I was wearing this because um, Katie and I had a whole debrief on. I was like, do I look goofy? And she's like, no, it's perfect for reading. And I'm, my goal is to It is today, perfect so for you know, reading. Look at us in our heads. Mom's on vacation. Literally, this is mom's on vacation yes, right now. Are you showing them the upstairs? Yes, I just did that whole time. Like, this is literally so epic. Perfect for all of our friends when they visit. Someone can even sleep on the couch. Two full beds. I mean, this is like beautiful. Who, the people that design this house are doing a good thing. And there's another, now we have another bathroom, which is good for the weekends when a lot of people need a shower and get ready for the night. Like the shower is so beautiful with the skylight. I'm obsessed. But yeah, so this is the house. And then we have another couch over here. The beautiful kitchen. We just unpacked all of our groceries. We've got our fresh produce. <laughs> um, and then the beautiful, oh, Katie's out here too. The beautiful backyard that is giving summer I turn pretty. So many of you guys said it to us and it's so true. The pool is literally amazing. I can't wait to get in it. And there's an outdoor shower out here that definitely gets used, which is a really fun little addition. Tons of sunscreen. This is a lot of sunscreen we think that we left from last year, so that's kind of funny. And we have a grill that we'll probably be using at some point. It's just the perfect home. And back there, there's a, a bonfire, like fire pit area, which is so fun. So yeah, we got a late start to the day because we went to Soul Cycle and grocery shopped and went and got coffee. But I'm gonna get my beach bag all together here. We're gonna go get some sun. I'm so happy the weather's nice today. So Katie just jumped in the pool and Brooke's over there sitting with her visor in one piece. And I was like, it's giving mom at Katie's swim practice. <laughs> I am about to chop up a cucumber and eat it with hummus. Doesn't that just sound like a refreshing snack by the pool? Because I think so too. All right, I'm gonna go bring this out to the pool. It's like the perfect little refreshing combination. LaCroix cucumbers with red pepper hummus. How does the pool feel? <laughs> it feels so, it's not too cold. It feels very good. I need to get in. It's like so refreshing. So refreshing, wow. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe we are here again. It literally feels like coming back to Cousins. Cousins, Cousins Beach. Beach. Where's Susanna? Sad, have any of you guys watched Summer Agent Pretty? Why is the season like sad? Like, crazy. 
So I just came in from the pool. I took a shower, we made lunch, and now we're all kind of like chilling. We have a dinner tonight. Um, but it's that perfect time of day to have therapy. I love having therapy in the evening slash like late afternoon. So I feel like this is an appropriate time to say this video is sponsored by BetterHelp, which I'm very excited about. You guys know how important therapy is to me. I discovered it around four years ago, I think when I was in college and I was trying to make some big decisions and I was just like, I need to talk to someone that's like not in my family, not a friend, whatever. We talk about BetterHelp all the time on the podcast too, just because I feel like therapy is so important, sometimes underrated. Like even if you feel like, oh, I have nothing to talk about, it's crazy what you end up talking about for an hour. Like I'll explain a whole situation to my therapist and she'll just kind of replay it to me the way I said it. And then when I hear her say, I'm like, oh, that's not so bad. Or I see a different perspective. I feel like a lot of people think you need to go to therapy because you have like a really traumatic experience or there's, you know, a clinical mental health issue. And that is truly not the case. I mean, like day-to-day -day life can be hard. There are these little things that happen during the day that can make you really anxious, really upset, really sad. And it's really important to get those feelings out, whether it's you know, talking to a therapist. That's why I think BetterHelp is a great resource. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. I mean, I'm literally here in Montauk, New York, about to go into therapy on my computer. I just think it's so amazing. You don't have to do a video call if you don't want to. I like to because I want to see their facial expressions. I want to do my facial expressions. You can just have it be on the phone if you want it. It can be really hard to find a good therapist in your area. So this just makes it super accessible, especially if you're traveling. Everything is just pointing to yes. So I do have a little discount for you guys if you want. If you go to BetterHelp, that's H-E-L-P dot com slash Danielle Carolyn, that'll get you 10% off your first month. So if you're a little nervous or you're just, you needed that extra push, here you go. I will also have it linked down below for you guys. And it's really nice because if you don't like your therapist, it's a very easy switch to find a new one. It's not like, oh, I gotta switch my insurance and do all these things, like BetterHelp has gotcha. So again, if you're going through something, if you're struggling, or you just want someone to talk to, I definitely suggest you guys check out BetterHelp, and you can get my little discount for first-time user, betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn. And again, thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. So I will see you guys in a little bit. We're going to get ready for an event later. Hi guys, we're all ready. I feel amazing right now. I've re I'm rejuvenated. I got ready. I listened to Taylor Swift. You can't get much better than that. So the event tonight is Cynthia Rally has a surf camp every summer and we're going to the dinner for it tonight. Um, so excited to see a ton of our friends and it's at Surf Lodge. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing Cynthia Rally. Obviously, I love this dress. It's from like one of her newer collections. It's this like black dress with the floral. A ton of her pieces from this collection have some sort of floral situation. Both Brooke and Katie's outfits are kind of similar. Decided to slick back my hair. I'm wearing these Orium Collective earrings. Or they're called the Bernadette earrings. These are J. Crew bangles. I'll have this outfit linked on LTK for you guys, which is always linked down below and in my Instagram bio under my link tree. Shoes are Dolce Vita. And then I'll probably just bring like a black bag. But I'm very, very excited for tonight. It feels so fun. I like love being on vacation and getting dressed. Like, if you guys can't tell. When I go on vacation, I go hard, you know? I need to like dress up more when I'm in New York City. I mean, like I do. I do. But, yeah. Yeah, girls are ready. Oh, the gals are galling. Here we are. Yes. Woo! We look so much taller than you right now, Katie. I'm not wearing my shoes. I feel, oh, I feel like a giant. I mean, <laughs> why do I feel so like I feel like? Come back here. Maybe let me change the. Is this better? Yes. Wow, look at us. We're so coordinated. We're ready for surf camp dinner. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Where are all your outfits from? Cynthia Rowley. <laughs> Yes. Love I love this. Each of these outfits are just like so different, but like they go together. Yeah, I love. Um, and you know, I'm a combination of you too. Yeah, you really yeah. are. I really like this, Katie. You always pick out ones that I see online. I'm like, uh, like I don't really know, and then I see it on you, and I'm like, oh, I love it. I feel that way. Yeah, yeah she like surprises you, and you're like, yes. Oh, she's it came, and I was like, I was expecting it to look like different, but it I surprised it. me in a good way. Like, in a good way, it surprised me. It looks a little bit more elevated than I thought. I thought it was going to be too casual. It's so good. No, it's but great. because it's like linen, it's like yes, it's definitely down there. there. Like, it's I, definitely a luxe yes. material. When you sent it, I was like, oh, interesting, but you always, <laughs> like, no, but then you put it on, and I feel like it's so, like, it, it, it works just with your body. It just makes like, sense. I, you know, it's, thank it's, you, it's, girls. It's great. It's great. You have a good eye. Thank you. Great eye. Thank yeah. You heard it here first. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Steam it up. <laughs> <laughs> 
steam it up. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't the move. The flower don't is flowering. <laughs> so cute. We get in the car and Brooke goes, we're going to John's. Yeah, the dessert was like a tray of dessert and I always get nervous. Yeah, we don't want peanuts. I didn't even want to make a scene. So close like, call. Yeah, no close calls. And close I said, call. I, said uh, I will find In your head, you were like, I'll take the gals to get ice cream. Like, I'm going to the nearby ice cream shop. This looks so good. I can't wait Apparently for it like with iconic, the treat. So. I remember last year driving past this, so I'm excited. My date, we're sharing. Oh, Brooke made a little uh-oh. <laughs> this is cute. So we do this thing. We did this last year too. I love it. We're like every night we come back and we we sit here typically at the table yeah. or like someone's at the counter and we just like talk 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 until one of us is like I'm gonna fall asleep at this table. It's a meeting. We're holding a meeting. It's like we're never not talking. It's so no. funny. Like I mean we have silent friendship time obviously, we do. but it's really this is like the I don't have many groups of friends that I could like really talk this much. Like no. it, I feel like I never. You guys are actually the only friends. We don't shut up. I like, know. No. We don't shut up. We don't run out of things to talk. We about. all have something to say at all times, and it's so fun. But it's so funny because I have to go to the bathroom so bad. But I'm like, I don't want to miss out on anything. Right now, though. Right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. I always have to go to the bathroom though. Yeah, it's true. But I'm I just like, mm, I can hold it. You guys are. These two are tanks. It's really unfortunate. I always have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, I haven't been. And they're like, enough mm. water. I haven't gone like since like. Like I didn't go to dinner. Like I haven't gone since. Like, you never peed at Circle. No, so I haven't peed like since we left here. And I remember I put on my Spanx and I was like, okay, like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm in. <for> yeah. that. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> if you were wondering. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. The gals are going to Soul Cycle. We are. We're trying a new instructor. I know, Francis. I'm excited. His playlist, like on the Soul Cycle app, looks good. Yes. And Brooke is riding sidebar, and I don't know what came over me yesterday, but I was like, I'll go sidebar with you because it was number 13, and it's like my family's lucky number. But this morning, I'm like, why'd I do that? No, yeah. it's so chill though. Like you saw the vibe of the studio. Like it is like it is pretty chill. It's like the classes are like a quarter of the way full because it's like a rant. I mean, it's 9:30 yeah. on a Tuesday in Montauk. Like not a lot of people are here. No, like, it's, yeah. it was so not full. Like Katie and I went in the back yesterday, or a few rows back yesterday and there's still no one in front of us so yeah. we basically felt like we were in yeah, the front yeah. um so no, i get it i feel like it's super chill i felt that too because it's like oh sidebar but i actually feel like the like i guess the class is looking at you when you do sidebar but because i used to be intimidated by that too but i don't feel the pressure of like having to like set the rhythm and the pace because i feel like that's more like the front row's job of like yeah does that make sense because uh, you have everyone behind you fall i don't know yeah i mean i can't lie though like i you look i'm sure I, I i i guess there's no one in front of me but for me like i only saw you guys in the sidebar i couldn't see the people in the front because they were like oh, oh so oh, I, I know so that's why i was like what am i doing like it depends like i kind of always see the people in the sidebar yeah i know what you mean i know so, what you mean, but I, <laughs> I don't follow them for the rhythm though and the pace so like i don't feel as much like yeah i guess it's the people in front of you if you're like going for the rhythm because you could you're behind them whereas yeah sidebar it's on the side so it's not and the is exact it, like, is it the right foot is it you know yeah, so it's like it's so funny. Like I've never been to a spin studio where they're like, "What foot are we gonna start on?" Oh, really? Never. Is Purell not like that? No, I don't ever remember being like, "All right, like the right, left, right." Like they don't yeah. tell you. Interesting. Because I feel like it always ends up being whatever your dominant foot is, and I guess it's good to like. Oh, it's so good to switch it up. Wait, but when you would ride podium, when you have to go opposite? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to mirror them, but it was never like. It didn't matter. Did some people do their own thing? Like so, not well, you can't even tell. Foot. Like I, I mean, can you tell in a soul cycle room? Like, oh, she's on her left foot. I, I think with some of the choreography, like because they'll be like, okay, so like since we're starting with our left foot, we're gonna like lean to the left and lean to the right. Does that make sense? It does, but I think I could still manage. Yeah. I get it. I think you could for sure. I don't know. It's just like chats. I like it because they switch it up. I no, like no, it's make cute. it like um, it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. No, I like it because I feel like I'm working both feet because they force you to. 
Yeah. yeah, no, I know. It's fun going to different studios and seeing. Okay, my arm's hurting, you guys. <laughs> and we have an arm workout coming, so, you know, tough girls. Yeah. Okay, bye. We're going. How do we feel post class? Yeah. I know. Whoa! That was one of my favorite classes I've taken. I really, really enjoyed that. I knew he was gonna be good. He had the best vibes and he played like two or three Drake songs, which was amazing. So like good. the reflection, I don't know. what. I like when they play like something, like sometimes they get a little too sad and I'm like, I, I'm For like the crying song. in the soul cycle. That was like a vibe. It know? was a vibe. He did Summer Games by Drake and it's just like that perfect mix of Ugh. like vibe, but there was still a beat to kind of Yes, that's what it is. You need a beat because sometimes there's no beat yeah, and, and I'm like, like I, how? it's hard to just kind of like pedal. Like, like you yeah. said one time they did Noah Kahan. I mean, I guess yeah, there's a beat, no, but it's but like. Some people like that though, so it's hard because yeah. it's like. It's personal. That's why you, it's, music is personal. That's why you have to find your, the instructors that find like, your people find your people find your team the instructors that play the music that you like because you know yeah and now important. i like Francis. yeah we'll definitely take him again i think he teaches here he was like i'll be here saturday morning i was like okay you no won't we see won't be there, there. <laughs> but next week. i wonder if they like go back to the city because he was like i'll be gone for a few days i don't know how it works all right we're running errands we got waters we got a watermelon from balsam farms now we're going to left hand coffee i'm newly obsessed coffee from the end <laughs> Cute. Look who I ran into. Hi guys. Hi. Post workout girlies. God, I'm struggling. Got the goods. Hey. It has been a very busy day. I didn't really like I I knew I had a lot to do, but we've just like run into a ton of technical difficulties, so it's just making everything take even longer. Um so that's why I like really haven't vlogged because um, we recorded, we worked out this morning, which was nice. And then we came back, worked, got a ton of emails done. Then, and like had to submit some stuff. Then we showered, got ready, recorded the podcast. And then we had to record the ads. And um, the Wi-Fi was a lot faster last year. It's like really, it's good, but uploading wise, it's really slow, which is just not ideal because all three of us need, like I want to upload a video tomorrow. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I just, we want to get the content up for you guys. The good thing is our podcast audio sent fast-ish. So we're going to be able to get the audio up. But the video, it just kind of sucks. Um, and I just, you know, we want to, it's like weird because we're here, but we've been inside all day. Um, but also like we came here and wanted to work while we were here and everything. So it's a good balance and we just got here. Um, but I'm feeling like cooped up a little bit. Um, but we are gonna go to Crow's Nest for dinner tonight, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully we'll have a good sunset. Apparently you like go by the beach and like chill there waiting for your table and then you go get a table. I don't really know, none of us have ever been, so I'm really excited. Um, I need to steam my dress. I need to figure out what to do with my hair. I need to do my makeup. I'm really leaving in an hour. <laughs> um, but I'm just like, I feel like I've just had so many technical difficulties lately. But I am really thankful, I don't even know if I said this, I got my computer back. Yesterday, it got delivered. I had Apple Care. If you guys saw my last vlog, um, I spilled cherry juice all over my laptop trying to make a Sleepy Girl mocktail. And I had Apple Care, so it only cost $200 to fix it. And they fixed it in like four days. So I'm very, very thankful to have that at least. Um, so it would be even more frustrating if I had my didn't have my computer. So, gotta just stay grateful when you can. Um, Yeah, so let's get ready. I'm gonna steal Katie's steamer. This looks like a good one. The weekend is 11 to 10. I came out here in Brook, I heard sighs. We're all just having technical difficulties today. I don't think Mercury's in retrograde though, so I'm confused. No, I don't think it's that. I think it's just technology is, it's like Wally. Or no, I don't know. You know that movie, Wally? Yeah. So, so we're, we're all just like. Katie's outside editing a video. It's all good problems and we have to have. Deadlines. Too. deadlines. No, yeah, it's like Actually, it's yeah. the deadlines, and like we didn't post a podcast episode last week, so we want to make sure it goes up, and it's just not going up. Well, the audio will be up, so we're good there. It's just frustrating. Well, so I came out here. Video files, so it's like thirty gigs. I know thirty gigs. I came out here though, and I was like, should we not go to dinner? Like I want to, but it's like. I don't know. Updates to come. Okay, I'm not a bra wearer. Like, I wear sticky boobs and petals, like, strictly. Um, however, I will wear, like, a bralette if I'm chilling, stuff like that. 
and I actually just discovered the Skims t-shirt bra and I tried that on with this tank top and it didn't look that bad it's just you can kind of see it so I tried on this Skims bralette and I just like I since I don't wear bras a lot I'm like what are the rules on like because like my petals just kind of make everything look a little droopy like it just kind of looks weird but like this bralette kind of pulls everything together but i'm like i don't know the rules like can is it okay to see this i feel like when i see people wear bralettes like you can see that they're wearing a bralette okay anyways we decided we're gonna go to navy beach tonight for dinner which is like more casual i actually love that place it's on the beach as well i just didn't feel like putting on a whole on maxi dress that i wanted to wear and they were on the same page they were like i think we should get out of the house because we kind of just need to like get a break and not be thinking about it for a second. But we wanted more casual, so we're gonna go to Navy Beach and then hopefully we'll go to Crow's Nest another time just because the vibes weren't there. Like Crow's Nest is a whole to do and like we're all kind of like in a weird mood. Um, so anyways, I'm trying to figure out my outfit. Obviously I have to include linen pants. So I'm for sure wearing these linen pants. Um, these are from Madewell and then I have another pair from Abercrombie. I basically just switch up <laughs> The Abercrombie ones are elastic waist and then these are like more of a trouser I mean the other ones look like trousers too and then I have I have this Loewe tank top It was literally so expensive. It's like a designer tank and I don't know why I had to have it That was I like don't buy designer clothes a lot anyways I'm trying to figure out how to wear it and I might have to ask the girls what they think or I have a white linen top from Abercrombie that could go but I really want to wear this tank so I just like how like chill it is, but I don't know. So this is the other top. It just definitely looks like more of a together outfit, but I'm like, is it too much like boxiness? So this is the other option. Okay, I didn't see my outfit going in this direction, but we're here and I'm happy with it. So I don't know why in my head I like needed to wear blue of some sort because it's called Navy Beach, but like you don't, I don't know why. I've got this fun little top. It's, <laughs> I was wearing a white tank and now we're here, but I'm happy with it, you know? It's from Revolve. I will have it linked to my LTA. Pants are Abercrombie, shoes are Pell Moda, and then I'm wearing silver jewelry tonight. These earrings are Anthropology, and these rings I got on the street in Soho, and then I just pulled my hair back and a half up, half down. And I don't think it's that bad of an outfit. We just had the most fabulous night. And I'm very happy about it. Um, ended up just being me and Katie. And uh, we're getting all set up. Katie hasn't seen season two of Summer I Turned Pretty yet. Nope. So what are we going to do right now? We're going to watch it. We're going to watch at least the first episode and see where we go. Um, I've already watched all three. But I'm like invested and I want to like, it's so fun to like chat with someone about That's the show. That's so kind of you to like go back in time for me. I'm so giving. You know, you're so giving. Like, <laughs> no, I, I like, I want to rewatch it. It's fun to watch something with someone who hasn't seen it. But I'm going to end the vlog here because I want to make more vlogs and I know you guys want more vlogs this summer, so I'm trying to get after it. I love you guys endlessly. Stay tuned for way more vlogs in this amazing house. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.